And now, a taste of things to come in season 2. I'm gonna build a warship and this particular schooner will serve me to attack land creatures from the sea. So, I have my base and we will start. I have my bear here. Hello, Tutsi. And we are going to start from ceilings, of course. There we go. The upper deck is filled with ceilings. I want the ship to look like those modern stealth warships. So the construction on the upper deck will look something like this. And then on the first floor, four doorways, roof doorways, like so. Outside, it looks like this for now. Now let's close the first floor. So it looks like this from the inside, now from the outside it looks like this. Maybe it's not exactly like stealth ship, but you know, it's it was just inspiration. Alright, alright. And of course, most important, large speed sail here, so I thought that if we don't want to or if we just want to be the driver of this ship right and we don't want to put any crew at sails uh, we can do it by ourselves and easily change sail here run here we run here change sail here and here will be steering wheel so we can take the role of the driver while our crew members get to guns and shoot everything around all right i don't have any iron nodes here or any other metal even though there's like tons of stones i was looking and searching and i didn't find any pure metal nodes there is metal on the freeport island but it's metal metal in general my point is to make to craft swivel guns and ballistas we need tons of uh, ingots and ingots can be made from cobalt copper uh, iridium right iron silver and tin but there's no metal metal and i have tons of general metal uh, look here. I cannot make alloys out of it. So that was pretty long explanation. So I have to release the ship and sail it to my tropical base to finish the to arm it. Right? Right. And there also I will hire crew members. And here we are at my tropical base or close to it. And this is the final product my experimental ship. And like I said, I was inspired by those modern stealth warships when it comes to shape. And I think it looks not bad. So let me give you a tour around the ship so I can 
like you know the the sloped shapes let me go around the ship without any glitches or you know rough edges anything like that and it looks cool i painted it black i wanted it to be gray or white like modern stealth warships but white and gray is just transparent like i told you in case of galleon so black is the only option in this case because it's stealthy so first of all it's one side land attack ship so nothing on the right side of the ship except one swivel gun same on the first floor there are doors here nothing here so this is only one side land attack ship right nothing here except one swivel gun here in case mobs would go from this side to this side you know under the water so this guy will be just or yeah this your guy <laughs> definitely so this guy will be shooting the remains this one is just additional swivel gun at the bottom i didn't install the cannons but swivel guns i will have to open this manually but that's okay you will see and crew will be shooting all the animals and mobs getting closer to the ship right right it's schooner so it can get to the shore closer than brigantine or galleon but there's not much room now let me tell you about the idea i had and i cannot do it because of the limitations of the building mechanics so my original idea was to install levers and levers as you can see cannot be installed on the ship nowhere and i mean nowhere this is awful limitation for the ship construction because i wanted to I wanted to uh, construct two levers here, place them here, right? One would be for lights, so the ship would be lit up. And second one was to open these doors at once, right? And why opening these doors? Because here I want to place ballistas. I wanted to protect ballistas while we sail so if ship of the damned would shoot its cannonballs the ballistas and the crew members would be safe when the doors closed right one problem was the lever i cannot install it and second problem was that ballista is pretty freaking huge let me place it right <laughs> that would look ridiculous and i'm really about aesthetics in this one although it's not that bad but well it's acceptable and i could actually because npcs aim like automatically so i could go with such thing right a little more and then ballista could shoot from hiding so that was my idea, which didn't work because, like I said, levers, basically levers. I cannot install them, so everything has gone to ash. So I will get rid of the doors, all four of them, and I'm going to install catwalk here, like this. It will be little extension and ballista on the catwalk like so so we are not hiding anymore exposed but then it also looks pretty cool i guess this is the prototype of the sea land attack ship right <laughs> so i will go with this option so let me install it there we go it is done now it looks like this i was thinking to make brigantine the base of the land attack 
Ballista's one-sided warship, but once again, Schooner can get to the shore much closer than Brigantine in most cases. So I wanted the ship to go fast and be relatively small, smaller than Brigantine. But the shore axis is the most important. So now I'm going to program the ballistas and swivel guns below. I want them to I want crew members to attack every single creature that wants to attack me. That's the idea. And where are we going with this? We are going to 07. Good old 07. Where I failed, where I died and lost the map. I have it back. I found new one. So that's cool. And I just want to redeem myself. So we go to Golden Age Ruins. I will just add that I have over 800 bolts and over 2000 grape shots. I hope it is enough. Let's go. Look, I put steering wheel on the front. So behind it's like camera from the third person view is not so convenient but the first person camera is really cool and sorry for the shaking but yeah it's you can precisely set the course of you know of your sail just like in case of animals there's so many ships of the damned because nobody is killing them and I might be in trouble. Yeah. Can the wind be even less, please? Because I want to sail slower, not faster. By the way, grey light looks the best, in my opinion. Here we are. Golden Age Ruins. Of course, swarming with Ship of the Damned. That's fine. Well, I hope I will not sink before getting to the shore. This one is pretty fast, damn it. The treasure this time is on the eastern side of the island, so I don't have to go into any lagoon, but still, I'm expecting elementals, spiders, lions, tigers, and other awful creatures. Okay, we are getting closer. I should see the beam soon. So I'm gonna set the ship the right way. There it is. See? Red beam. My goodness, it's, it's out there. Seriously. I will park my ship somewhere around here. Okay, this is as close as I can possibly get. Okay, they're starting to aim the right way. And ballistas, but I don't want them to waste too much ammo, you know. Well, let's see. There we go. All right, let's try it out. I have nothing but shotgun and the map.
Okay, so let's see. Okay, but ballistas don't work for some reason. Only swivel guns. I don't get that. But you know what? I'm already liking this ship. You know what I forgot? Freaking shovel. Okay, let's go get that treasure. Oh crap. Help. 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 My dudes. Hello. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Whoa! You know what this is this this is going nowhere at this point because i have no crew members so let me just tell you what i think failed um the behavior of crew members if all the crew members acted like me just spamming the bolts and swivel gun and grape shots elementals would move but they so something happened with crew members i don't think this ship is bad <laughs> I don't think it's like completed because this is just a prototype but I'm on the good way to make this ship work and be um, safe safe for work so yeah well nothing left to say the servers will be wiped soon so progress is put on hold but like I said before at the start of this part this was the taste of things to come. Of course, I'm hoping I will be more successful in season two and I will be more successful in season two. This was just to try out, right? And it was fun and yeah, the experience I gathered from this action will definitely help me in season two when I be constructing bigger and better stuff. Also, I wanted to review the game because I got like 350 hours on my counter in Atlas. But this game is in early access, so reviewing it, and I played only PvE, so reviewing it misses the point. But I'm gonna tell you this as a kind of review. The game looks and feels and plays promising. They work on the game, it has many issues. It has many bugs, but the fun and the things you can do sometimes even overwhelm the bugs and glitches and exploits and whatever. So I have more fun 
building stuff and doing all the things I can do in this game than I'm frustrated with bugs and glitches and all the wrong things about the game. This is my opinion and this is my review and it's promising. It's in early access, so it's not finished. And like I said before, or maybe not, in season two, I will go large. And by that, I mean building powerful warships of any kind, including sloop for quick land attacks, for example. I will definitely hit the maximum level possible, which will make me to explore pretty much entire map to unlock the levels. I will visit Kraken and other huge enemies existing and new ones coming in the new update. Diving, submarine, trench, crab, all that. But most of all, I am excited to build my own fleet and huge base with docks and port and small army of tamed animals. All that on PvE server, which doesn't mean that I don't want to or plan to go PvP, but PvP in Season 3, maybe? Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very, very much for all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the views. Thank you for your time watching this, for your interest. This is the end of Season 1. See you in Season 2 or in other videos, in other series of mine. And that's it for now. <laughs> Bye, see ya, stay safe, and I will, I will make it, I will be back here, elementals.